had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Uh, which one? You know exactly why I'm here! <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. What do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Scouts. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. Can't keep this up forever. Perhaps we'll be lucky and they'll run out of Darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? Allow me. to them. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in legends. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where he is now. I told you that. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. 
Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to him, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried, I'll just make it up as I go. Will you? <sighs> then let me tell you what really happened. Light had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. We have to get out of here while we still can. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at me? I've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your brother. Then let's go. Lead on. We've got company! <laughs> Wait, where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn, where else? And then where? 
We can't just wander aimlessly. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. Ah. <sighs> then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Another wave! Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. <laughs> Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The Spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The Order dictates. Wesley. The Order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. More so their wives. But as long as there is a greater danger, you and I have an accord. Thank you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. There's more! 